What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and today we got Monte Ball through the years. If you have a suggestion for another 30 years that you want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, I watch Flim Low Raps, man, one of the best storytellers on YouTube. Alright, so we're going to kick things off in NCAA Football 2010 with Monte Ball is a freshman at 75 overall with 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 85 brake tackle, 66 truck, 77 elusiveness, 77 ball carrier vision, 65 stiff arm, and a 94 juke move. Now, when we look at his real life numbers, they look like this. He carried the ball 98 times for 391 yards. That's an average of four yards per carry. He also had four TDs, also caught nine passes for 92 yards. His best game was versus Indiana. He carried the ball 27 times for 115 yards and two TDs. Now let's move on to NCAA 2011 where Mr. Monte Ball comes in at 86 overall with 93 speed, 85 acceleration, 80 break tackle, 66 trucking yet again, 81 elusiveness, 77 ball carrier vision, 65 stiff arm, and a 90 juke rating. Now, Monte Ball, he carried the ball 163 times for 996 yards, averaging about 6.1 yards per carry. He had 18 TDs. He also caught 16 passes for 128 yards. His best game came in a win versus Michigan, where he carried the, the ball a grand total of two, 29 times for 173 yards and four TDs in that one game he was doing his thing versus michigan ncaa football 2012 monte ball comes in at 90 overall with 92 speed 85 acceleration 89 break tackle 90 trucking 75 elusiveness 80 ball carrier vision 65 stiff form and a 90 juke rating now monte ball he carried the ball 307 times for 1923 yards which was first in the whole country. He averaged about 6.3 yards per carry, 33 TDs also. He also caught 24 passes for 306 yards, 6 TDs. He also had a huge game versus Illinois. It was a win. He carried the ball 38 times for 224 yards and 2 TDs in that one game alone. So he had a phenomenal season. I thought a lot of people probably thought that he was going to go pro after that year, but he decided to come back. Not too many people come back for their senior year at the halfback position when they already had a pretty good career like Monte Ball did. But he decided to come back, and he was the best player in NCAA 13. 98 overall, that was the highest overall player in the game. 90 speed, 96 acceleration, 97 break tackle, 56 trucking, 52 trucking, excuse me, 92 elusiveness, 88 ball carry division. 70 stiff arm and a 95 juke move he led the big 10 with 1830 yards rushing he had 356 carries to get those yards he averaged about 5.1 yards per carry 22 tds 10 receptions for 72 yards his best game was versus purdue he ran the ball 29 times for 247 yards and three tds now he finished his career averaging about 5.6 yards per carry for 5140 yards and 77 tds those 5140 yards are fourth all time in the big 10 and 16th all time overall in ncaa and of course he's 87.2 overall as a video game character in NCAA football. Now, he was drafted in the second round, pick number 58, by the Denver Broncos. He was 75 overall as a rookie in Madden 25 with 86 speed, 86 agility, 90 acceleration, 87 trucking, 86 stiff arm, 81 spin move, and an 82, and an 82 not an 82, but an 82 juke move. Now, for his rookie year, his numbers look like this. Carried the ball 120 times for 559 yards, 4 TDs, averaged 34.9 yards per game, also caught 20 passes for 145 yards. His best game, or his two best games, both came versus Kansas City. He had one game, and both of them were wins. They beat Kansas City 35-28 to when he had 13 carries for 117 yards. Then he also had a game where he carried the ball 8 times for 25 yards, but 2 TDs, and that was also a win versus Kansas City. So Madden 15, he's 78 overall, just a little bit of a boost from his 75 overall rating. 86 speed, 84 agility, 90 acceleration, 91 trucking, 87 stiff form, 81 spin move, 82 juke move. 
Now, for his technically his last year in the NFL, he only carried the ball 55 times. That was in about five games. He also ran the ball 172 yards or 472 yards, one TD. Once again, he averaged about 34.4 yards per uh, game, nine receptions for 62 yards. His best game was a win versus Indy, and it was the first game of the season. First game of the season, they win that game 31-24. to He had 23 carries for 67 yards and one TD. They gave him the ball a lot. 67 yards isn't the most impressive total, but, you know, they stuck to the ground game, and he had a touchdown in that game, but that was really all she wrote for his career, which is quite sad. But he was in Madden 16 as a member of the Denver Broncos on the opening day roster, and he's 76 overall at 87 speed, 83 agility, 90 acceleration, 84 trucking, 85 stiff form, 79 spin move, 82 juke move. And again, you guys can decide in the comment section that he was a bust. He definitely didn't live up to expectations, but he was drafted in the second round, pretty late in the second round as well. So I don't know if that qualifies as a bust, but again, it's up to you guys. But for his career in Madden, he's 76 point three overall in his career as always i enjoyed bringing this video to you guys i hope that you enjoyed watching it i hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day until next time peace Hot sauce.